Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, books I'm not reading. Uh, I recently had a request for a library tour. I feel like I've done this before, um, but I think it was in a tag video and I haven't been able to find it. So I thought I would do another one because there's always new people. So um, the thing that makes giving a library tour for me really difficult is that um, my library isn't just mine, it also is my husband's library, um, and there are things that are my books, and things that are his books, and things that are our books, um, and they all live in this one long skinny room together. So I, I want you to picture a long skinny room, and we're going to go around it. I'd also like to highlight some of the items in front of the shelves that we have, um, which I haven't ever done before. The poetry section is just a disaster right now. The religion section is it would be it would be just really challenging to film, and the YA section is in a cupboard, and yeah, so um, it's and it's definitely the smallest section of our library. If you want to see those things or a specific tour of them, let me know. But again, like realize, you know, a lot of these books, like I can't necessarily, I, I don't really have anything to say about them. I would never own them myself if this were just my library, right? Um, but anyway, uh, and one other thing before I begin, um, when it comes to Jane Austen, Charles Dickens, and William Shakespeare, um, we have a lot of kind of stuff <laughs> um, related to those three particular authors. They are not all in front of the shelves. So I'm gonna link um, to, I made fake crate videos regarding those three authors. So I'll link to those down below if you'd like to see more of the kind of, um, I don't know, ephemera or like I have a Jane Austen action figure. Um, you know, there's mugs, that kind of stuff. Anyway, uh, I have a Dickens Pickwick Papers teapot. Um, so if that's interesting to you, you can look at those videos. But all right, let's get into the library. So again, long skinny room. We're starting at one end of the corner and we're just gonna make a U around. So this, um, up here, this was initially the overflow pile. We have gone way past that. Um, so this is like what the overflow pile can kind of contain right now. But this white bookcase I've had for a really long time um, and it is general nonfiction. Um, and, and again, it's um, with the exception of uh, some of these bigger hardcover books down at the bottom, uh, everything is alphabetized by author. So um, let's see. We've got, you know, Year of Wonder, which I, I've talked about on my channel before. Um, you know, there's again, like things that are more interesting to Jason than to me. Um, Timothy Egan's over here. Uh, Michael Perry, who's a, like kind of an indie writer that I really love. Um, you know, but then we also have like the three volumes of the Gulag Archipelago by um, Solzhenitsyn. Um, let's see what else is on here. Um, oh gosh, there's some Jenny Lawson at the bottom there. Oh, we do have a lot of books by Eric Larson. He actually came to Wyoming, uh, well, sometime in the last, I don't, know, I don't know how long ago it was anymore, but anyway, so we have oh, some of those we actually have signed, which was cool. Okay, so now we're moving on to the next bookcase. This bookcase is probably the biggest bookcase that we have in the house. Um, Jason's dad built it for him, which is really cool. Um, I did want to share with you on top of the bookcase is this cute little, this cute little guy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, he's, he's a lot of fun, but he is way up there on the top. Um, and then I also wanted to share this with you guys. This is, um, a reproduction of a painting and I got this in Denmark. Um, but it's, I don't know how well you can see it. It's a woman reading. 
and um, my mother has like a miniature one of this, but I was just like, she got like three miniatures at the store and I just was like, I just like the big one, please. <laughs> so this will fit in my suitcase. Um, anyway, uh, so we start with mass market paperbacks. Um, that is how Jason decided to do it and I just went along with it. Um, and then we've got, of course, um, Margaret Atwood, Jane Austen. I do have a Pride and Prejudice uh, Jane Austen mug. These penguin mugs um, we got as a wedding present um, and some of them were just too precious to actually, <laughs> actually drink from. Let's see, uh, the second shelf, I think I've shown this before. Um, Jason bought this, I don't know where, maybe a toy store, it's a little Viking ship. And it is in front of um, The Long Ships, which is a Viking book. Um, and I, neither one of us has, has read that. Uh, and then we get into um, A.S. Byatt, Peter Carey, who is one of Jason's favorite authors. Um, let's see, we've got uh, Willa Cather, John Cheever. Um, Douglas Copeland and then at the very bottom the very very bottom shelf starts our our Dickens collection we own all of Dickens's novels so and when it comes to the Christmas Carol we own multiple copies Dickens ends up here on this next next bookcase we do have this um, antique tiny little copy of A Christmas Carol. I don't know how very well you can see the title there, but anyway, so that's out in front. And then I also have this cute little um, box. It says, the love of books is among the choicest gifts of the gods. So that's up here. Uh, as far as authors go, we've got Tom Drury, who I think is like a vastly underestimated, you know, underappreciated author, some Umberto Eco, Louise Erdrich, uh, let's see, Penelope Fitzgerald is down here, and then the bottom three shelves, and you can see like the overflow pile there. I do really love this card. <sighs> <laughs> Let's see, Peter Hoag, who wrote Smell a Sense of Snow, it seems spinning today, is down here. Kazuo Ishiguru uh, on the bottom shelf, Andersonville, there's um, a Stephen King novel, uh, Haven Kimmel, who uh, Jason is actually friends with. The next bookcase, and there's a huge number of books piled up here. Again, like you'll probably see holes on the shelves and stuff like that, and that's because there's books on my library cart and there's books up above. Um, you know, Jason doesn't have a library cart, so he kind of has his own his own place uh, for some of his books. Um, but we start with, um, well, we start with Milan Kundera, um, Nella Larson's Passing, the Girl with the Trigon Head 2 books, and of course, then our John Le Carr collection. And in front of that, we have these uh, Russian nesting dolls. I think the original cover for Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy had uh, nesting dolls on it, but yeah, so these are, these are from Russia. My grandmother bought them. I'm not gonna open all of them up, but uh, yeah, so I have inherited Inherited, ooh, sorry about that, inherited them from her. And then, um, I don't know why the goose is right here, but this is a little goose. I don't know where my family got it. It was at our family's cabin. Uh, my parents have since sold the cabin, which is actually a huge relief to me. It's a lot to take care of. I can't even take care of my own house, um, <laughs> so I can't imagine taking care of the cabin, but this was, one of the things I got from my cabin, I did not get everything I wanted, but that's okay. That's how life rolls, right? Um, on the next shelf, we've got the Betsy Tacy books, um, some Norman Mailer and Henny Mankell. I don't know why this shelf has got a lot of stuff on it, but um, 
This is a little music box that I inherited. Um, I think it's from Germany, but I'm not, not totally sure about where it came from. Uh, this is a little teapot that Jason picked up somewhere. No idea why. And I don't know why it lives on our bookshelves either, but it does. And then I have, I have three little dollar horses uh, from Scandinavia, uh, Sweden more specifically. Um, I've got this one and then a blue one and a white one. And they are in front of the Henning Mankell books. But truthfully, there's a lot of places they could be in the library. And again, um, my grandmother had to have all three when we went to when we were in Sweden. Um, I just picked up one and um, turned it into a Christmas ornament. Um, I have since inherited a larger one that's in the China Hutch. But anyway, okay. So let's uh, go, go down a little bit here. Um, so here's Hilary Mantel, um, and there's more Hilary Mantel. This is a bookmark either my mother or my grandmother made, and oh, my mother showed it to me, and she was like, would you guys like this? And I was laughing because I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure Jason has a book that he'd like to use because, of course, as you can see, it's got the Tudor Rose in it. Next, um... My, I I have a, a thing for rocks, so um, <laughs> there's a geode. Again, it's kind of a random place for it. Um, this is a rock, and it's I think it's shaped like a heart. So does Jason, and we found this um, on the beach in Barbados. So that has to go up here. Um, ironically, it's by Cormac McCarthy. <laughs> um, yeah, and there's some Peter Matheson. Down below, we've got Lonesome Dove, Moby Dick, some David Mitchell books, Alice Munro is over there, and the very bottom shelf, oh man, there's just a whole collection um, uh, of things there, uh, Nabokov, um, uh, oh, here's the big one, is... Um, it's, uh, Tim O'Brien is down on the bottom there. He's one of my favorite authors, so yeah, it's unfortunate that he's on the bottom shelf, but what can you do? It's a library. So this bookshelf's a little bit shorter, but as you can see, we are slowly filling it up. This is where all of the um, kind of coffee table sort of books would go. Um, there's one I wanted to share with you. I really love musicals and growing up, this was on our family's piano um, or in the piano seat, but I learned so many songs from Rodgers and Hammerstein musicals um, in, this, in this book. And um, uh, so there's a song from uh, Carousel Soliloquy and uh, I'm pretty sure that's, Pretty sure that's a uh, carousel, yeah. Uh, and then, you know, there's pictures like this in the middle of it, which I think is cool. I Although South Pacific, um, it has its redeeming qualities, but it's also, I, I, I don't, I didn't, I don't really, it's not my favorite musical by any means, but yeah, so I, uh, <laughs> on a recent, maybe the last time I saw my parents, I was, I, um, Oh, here's a scene from The King and I. Anyway, uh, yeah. I don't have a piano. I, can, I can, can't really read music. Um, but I really wanted that book badly. And so I snatched it. And uh, they want me to give it back. But I think they've forgotten that I even have it. Um, there's some other books we've taken. This is huge. Um, a collection about birds, poetry, there's Dickens book, um, the unicorn tapestries, and some Bibles. Here's another one about musicals. Let me go down a little bit. This bookshelf, let's see, we start off with the Scarlet Pimpernel. Um, gosh, Annie Prue is on here. 
down below we've got a lot of Philip Roth again more Jason's area and uh, Rushdie um, Richard Russo and JD Salinger uh, yeah there's a lot of a lot of a lot of good stuff Jane Smiley starts at the end so then we're gonna after this bookcase we're gonna jump over to another and we're gonna start with Jane Smiley and then this is um, this is what's called a an ulu knife. Jason got it uh, from his mom, and uh, on a she went on a trip to Alaska, and I, I said, "And why do we own it? Why is it in the library?" And he was like, "Well, it's really good at getting stickers off of books," which made me just laugh. <laughs> laugh laugh okay so now we're gonna take um we're gonna move across the library jane smiley betty smith along with zadie smith wallace stegner graham swift it's a very important shelf in the library and um jason picked this up at a gardening place i think it's supposed to go in a fairy garden but for some reason it is in our library but it's it's kind of cool it's a green man he's got a book he is holding a book I just realized that so that's kind of cool little mushrooms down here anyway so that is on our shelves and then this next shelf I have a great story for you so this is one of those things where you don't really realize that something's gonna come back into your life um, I bought this cup in Finland for Jason um, he was just my friend at the time. We were friends for a long time before we got together. And, uh, yeah, was not expecting to spend the rest of my life with this, with this little monk. Um, he really liked it. Um, but anyway, so now it's, it's in the library and I see it every day. And it's just, it's just funny to me, right? Like, you know, you give someone a gift and then, oh, like you end up marrying them and, and all of those gifts um, are suddenly like you know <laughs> back in your in your home. Uh, uh, so this shelf has Tolstoy, some some of the trawl up, by no means all of it. Um, and then if we go down just a little bit, um, uh, so this is a recent acquisition acquisition to the library. Jason got this for um, Shake Timber and I hate it but again it's not my library so what what am I supposed to do? Um, the cool thing about this shelf um, in addition to my Ashley Weaver mysteries that I enjoy and I need to find some others is um, we have uh, Sarah Waters um, who is Jason's read all of her books, um, and I'm going to be reading The Night Watch, which actually isn't in here, um, but we love these, these beautiful, um, British editions, and, yeah, and there's, there's her signature on them, so sometimes we, sometimes we get assigned a copy early on, which is really, really exciting. Then we go down a bit. Um, we've got Virginia Woolf, uh, and we have a mug, another one of those penguin classic mugs, uh, a room of one's own. Uh, let's see, what else is on here? Oh, I don't, I don't know why this is necessarily on this shelf, but this is again something Jason's had for a really long time. The ear broke off at one point, so I fixed it. Um, this is a book, a mammoth, um... Forever Amber? I don't know. I got this, but I I don't know. I don't know if I want to read it or not. Anyway, it's by Kathleen Windsor. If you've read it, let me know what you think down below. Okay. Um, and then at the very bottom, we get into, um, oh gosh, some textbooks Jason has related to the romantic area. Um, the Odyssey, the Iliad. Uh, literary criticism, uh, that kind of, uh, the Icelandic sagas, so things like First Saga Long and stuff like that. 
All right, and now we're going to the last bookcase that I'm gonna share with you. There's a whole bunch of Folio Society books up here on the top, I guess, if you wanna see it. Let me see. Yeah. And yarn, of course, yeah. Um, and then, oh, let me see. So this, this bookcase, um, again, picks up with like kind of more criticism. There's some film criticism in here. You know, I don't, I wouldn't own a book about Tarkovsky, but you know, Jason, Jason wants it. And then Jason has a huge selection of Sylvia Plath. You can see a uh, red comet. <laughs> um, we do have, um, well, before I get into that, so some more rocks that I have found over the years. You can kind of see some shells in there. And this is a piece of petrified wood. So yeah, a tree that was once a living, growing thing and now is like turned into stone. Ah, um, so once we get done with Sylvia Plath, which takes quite a while down here. Um, then we get into Shakespeare and you can see our collected works. And then of course we have a lot of individual plays. We do have some really cool mugs. Um, so this one is uh, from Shakespeare's Globe Theater in 2004. Um, and it's got a quote from Much Ado About Nothing. So that's up here. This one is one Jason picked up at the Colorado Shakespeare Festival in 2000. Ooh, what a different world it was. This is my favorite one. This is 2006 um, and the Colorado Shakespeare Festival. We tried to go see The Tempest and it rained and it was outdoors. So nothing we could do about that. Um, anyway, so Shakespeare goes on <laughs> for quite a while because once, of course, we're done with the plays, we also have, you know, again, a lot of criticism and analysis and things like that. Um, we even have, you know, got botanical Shakespeare. Um, yeah, so Shakespeare goes for quite a while. Then there's some Jane Austen um, related books down here. And then it just goes into biography alphabetically. So I think it um, looks like after Austin, we have Teresa of Avila, Barker's uh, biography of the Brontes, Rachel Carson, Dickens, there's multiple Dickens biographies. Very bottom shelf, we have a three volumes of Graham Greene. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear if you have any questions about the library. Um, I apologize. Uh, if you really desperately need to see one of the sections I didn't show you, um, you can you can share that with me in the comment section. But uh, I think hopefully that will quench your thirst for seeing what our library is like. And again, it's an R, not a not a me thing. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Um, booktube, thank you so much for watching and um, <laughs> always remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Booktube, I will be back with another video soon. Bye.